hi friends hope you are all doing great and here is a simple question that is quite frequently asked in interviews and the question is you have a string with unique characters there is no repeated characters and you have to generate all the subs subsequences and the substrings of the string so both are both looks quite same for the beginners like uh, subsequence and substrings all look same but it is not same there is a difference between them and if you want the de definition and the difference between them i will put some link in the description for that and to make it short uh, i will just go for the code of of generating subsequence and substrings so let's get started <music> So at first we will go for substring which is I think more, um, more simpler than subsequence and it is uh, quite simple let me explain a little bit like for if you have three characters like A, B, C at first let's fix, the, uh, fix one character that is from zero and from zero how many, uh, how many sub substrings we can generate we can consider from zero to zero that is only zero and then ca we can take from zero to one that is another possibility and from zero to two and from zero to three that is not possible because we have three character that is zero one two so these are the three character three substrings we can generate when we are fixing the first fixing the first index as zero and uh, in the same way we can fix the first uh, index from uh, start from one and how many possibilities will be there there will be two possibilities from one to one that is only one and from one to two so that's the two substring which can generate so let's go for the code now and we need a i'm going to just uh, define a static method just to call it from the static main method okay and sub uh, strings sub strings and it will accept uh, thing of course and for the for the generate for to print all the subsequence we'll need a for loop and that is pretty simple that starts from zero and goes till the end of the string okay and inside that we need another loop so that will start from i plus 1 okay and j less than equal to the length and why equal to because uh, oh, there is a method in uh, java and that is the substring method and substring method uh, not include doesn't include the last uh, index it excludes the last index so that's why we need the uh, equal sign here i will explain it more in, in the for inner for loop when i will be writing the substring line and j plus plus it's simple right and then let's just uh, okay let's just print and give it a return type void because we are going to just print the substrings so here is the actual line that will print the substring system dot out dot print ln okay and we'll need all the substrings and here is a method that is substring and it accepts two argument that is beginning index that is i and i will start from zero as i explained i will start from zero and it will go up to j and in this method it will generate the substring from i to j minus 1 that's why we need the equal sign here otherwise it will not uh, go up to the end it will end at uh, like if there is three character it will end at 2 so we'll need the equal sign here okay and i think that is it and if you want to store it you can uh, you can just uh, declare a array or of string or uh, array list you can de declare an array list and then you can just add that to add all the substring to that array list for now we are just going to print it 
and that's fine and let's just uh, call it from here and comment the hello world and to call that method we just have to call it with substring and let's just give it a string that is abc and that is it so if i run it and you can see it uh, printed all the substrings okay these are the uh, six substrings that is possible with three letters that is abc okay fine now let's uh, just uh, go for the sub sequences of this string of the same string and i am going to do it with uh, recursion and it is also very simple but uh, looks confusing as always at the first attempt and we'll need again a static uh, method and let's just make it void because we'll just print it and uh, give it a name sub sequences and it will also accept a string str and it will because we are going to recursively call it and, and there will be another string that is answer i will say or subsequence that is the actual subsequence we will store in that variable and from here we will let's say we have actually we have two possibilities now we can either remove a character from this str and add it to subs subsequence or we can remove it from here and we do not add it in uh, subsequence so for that we'll just need two lines and let's just call the subsequence uh, recursively and str dot substring and we'll just give it a give it one one actually because we'll just exclude the first character from this str and pass it to another call next call and at first we are not adding it to the subsequence okay or you can add it here and next time you can just uh, not add it actually okay and let's just add it uh, str dot uh, care at zero so that means we are adding that uh, first character that is we are removing from str and adding it to the answer and we have one more option that is the uh, almost looks like this looks like same but we'll just not add it to the answer because this is the two possibilities we had okay and this recursion is not complete actually because at some point we have to return and the return point would be this str will be empty okay and when it str becomes empty we have nothing to do so that that would be the answer for uh, this str that will be the substring and to check if it is empty or not we can just do it like str dot equals uh, and double quote empty string actually and now we have the answer and we just can print the answer and that is subsequence okay remember subsequence is the answer not the str str was the actual string and we will exclude one character from str and add it to subsequence so at the end str is empty and subsequence is the actual answer so we will print the subsequence and return from here and as it is a void function we can just simply write return and that is it okay so let's just call this function method actually and just going to call it like substring and give it a substring a b c and the answer is at first empty okay and i think it doesn't look good because uh, we just want to call it with one parameter actually so i think we will just go for overloading we can just call it with one parameter so it will look like we are calling it with this thing and it will print all the substring all the subsequence of it and that and we'll need one overloaded method that looks same str 
and inside that we'll call str comma with an empty string so that makes sense now okay so I think it's fine and we can just separate the two output okay and let's say this is uh, sub strings and this is sub sequences okay and let's see okay i have uh, done a mistake here like this str shouldn't be there because we don't want to add anything i was just repeatedly adding the str okay hope you got it at first we just exclude one character from here and we add it to the subsequence and there is another call we exclude it and we don't add it to subsequence okay so sorry for that and let's just run it once again and here it is so remember that there is a empty subsequence okay so that is also there that is in the end that is the empty subsequence and i think that's fine this is uh, uh, there is eight subsequences yes that's fine and that you can just uh, verify it like of course there will be eight because for subsequences there is that formula because we have always two choices so it is two to the power n so that is three three n is the number of letters okay so three means two to the power three means that will be of course eight including the empty subsequence so that means we need we'll have eight uh, subsequences that's what we have here okay and for a substring you can say n n plus n plus 1 into n divided by 2 so that is uh, 4 into 3 4 3 is 12 4 3 is 12 by 2 is 6 so that's what we have here there is uh, 6 substrings okay that's it for today